Should you travel while you are young? The answer is yes, obviously. I'm 41 as I'm recording this, and I went traveling for the first time overseas when I was 19, I think 19. I went to Europe on a six week trip, which was pretty awesome. And it completely and utterly shaped my entire personality. So the thing is when you get into a new environment and you get into a new culture uh, and you get out of that comfort that you have, your parents' nest, your, the safety of the, of the norm in your life, it forces you to do other things and to think different ways and it changes the wiring in your brain and it starts to influence you and you start to see your own life differently and you start to see possibility and you start to come up with business ideas or relationship ideas or different ways of living your life. So when is the best time to go traveling? It's absolutely as soon as possible. Now, I did make a mistake with my traveling. Well, just to be clear, I'll just let you know what traveling I did do. Let's walk down here a little bit. Um, I, uh, when I went traveling, the first time I went overseas was 1996. And this is before we had like, you know, audio books and uh, smartphones. And so I made the mistake of not listening to audio CDs, I guess you could say, although maybe even the CDs weren't out there. Oh, they were. But while I was traveling, I was having a great time. I was exposing myself to all this new stuff, which was amazing. But what I didn't do is educate myself while I was traveling, okay? Now, by that I mean I didn't educate myself on how to save. I didn't educate myself on how to invest. I didn't educate myself on how to, to buy property, for example. And so while I traveled extensively throughout my 20s and my 30s, I went through Europe, went to um, Italy, France, Spain, Greece, Portugal. In 1997, I went right through up the Middle East. I flew into Cairo and I backpacked through Egypt, Jordan, Syria, Israel, Lebanon, up to um, uh, Turkey. Uh, later on, I went down to South America, to Brazil and Argentina and learned some Spanish, Puerto Habla Espanol. And I did all these kind of things. But uh, what I didn't do while I was doing this and having fun was educate myself along the way because there are long periods of time when you're on a long flight. There's a long period of time when you're on an overnight bus. There's long periods of time where you're just sitting on a beach. And I was just sitting there going, oh yeah, this is great, this is amazing. Which it was, I had an amazing time. But what I could have been doing is having an amazing time and at those down times, I could have just st stuck in my earbuds and listened to Tony Robbins, for example, talk about motivation or to listen to Ty Lopez uh, on the 67 steps. Um, you can go to jameswanick.com forward slash 67 steps. There'll be an annotation here where you can see his rules for life. Or you could have listened, or you could have listened to the greats um, on real estate investment or um, Anything like that, but I didn't do that. So by the time that I got into my mid 30s, I was all of a sudden playing catch up. I'm like, wow, I've traveled the world. I've been to 40 something countries. I've had an amazing time. But you know what? Now I got to get my financial house in order, uh, which I did very quickly and which I have. But let me tell you something. I'd have a lot more money in the bank right now if I had traveled the world and learned stuff and educated myself at the same time. So the best time to go traveling uh, is now if you can and here's the thing if you can't afford it or you think you can't afford it there's lots of ways around it now like you can go to countries where you can use whatever currency you're using and it goes a long way for example if you're watching this in America and you've got US dollars that goes a long way in many parts of Asia it goes a long way in still in many parts of South America like uh, Colombia or Peru or Bolivia or even Argentina um, so it doesn't mean you have to go on like these big, super expensive European holidays if the currency doesn't work for you, but pick a country or countries where your currency does get a good exchange rate and go and visit those. It's better than not doing anything. Like force yourself out of your comfort zone. And when you do that, like I said, it rewires your brain. You start to appreciate different cultures, appreciate different ways of living. It starts to inspire you with ideas. So when you go back to the culture that you grew up in, you now are able to uh, create new businesses or create new relationships. What's more, you become a hell of a lot more interesting, quite frankly, because 
Now you can, t you can have great interesting conversations over dinner or with friends or at a party and you can say, hey, when I was here, I saw this. Or did you know that when you're in um, Santorini and the Greek islands, there's a beautiful sunset, it was amazing, and people are like, really, tell me about it. So now you become interesting. Um, so be interested in the world, travel around, go and see places. Um, it'll completely and utterly change your way of thinking and you know, record yourself while you do it. I mean, we live in an age now where you can just take your phone, your smartphone and record it and stick it up on YouTube. And before you know it, you've got like thousands of people following you, like following your travels. It's pretty cool. So you can document it. If I have, uh, for me to actually look at photos of me when I traveled in 96 and 97 now, I've got to go to my, my mother's house back in Brisbane, Australia, go into her garage, into the, like a big uh, box and try and dig up these old photos that we used to print out. <laughs> Today, it's like you can record everything, right? On video on your smartphone. So get out there and travel. Travel the world, explore new uh, adventures, new cities, new countries, get out there. Uh, it will shape your personality, it'll inspire you. And uh, traveling, you know, has made me the man that I am today. Get out there and, and do it too. I'm walking on a treadmill desk. This is where I run my empire, so to speak. And did you know that if you walk for 15 minutes after you've eaten a meal, 